Hi all, I am Divya Somakumar and in this video, we are going to learn about assumptions of linear regression. What is regression? Regression is the process of establishing a relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. And then what is linear regression? Whenever the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable is linear, we call it a linear regression. Now let's begin with our first assumption of linear regression model. What is our first assumption? The first assumption states that there should be a linear regression model. What does this imply? It implies that the linear regression model should be linear in parameter. What does parameter mean? Parameter is nothing but beta 1 and beta 2. So this assumption states that beta 1 and beta 2 should be linear. Let's look at the second assumption. What is our second assumption? The second assumption states that x values are fixed in repeated sampling. In this, we assume that x is non-stochastic. Let's look at the third assumption. The third assumption states that there is zero mean value of disturbance ui. Given the value of x1, the mean or expected value of random disturbance term ui is zero. Technically, the mean value of ui is zero and it is written by E of ui given xi equals zero. Let's look at the fourth assumption. What does the fourth assumption state? It states homoscedasticity. What do you mean by homoscedasticity? Given the value of x, the variance of ui is the same for all observation. Basically, the variance of all error terms are one and the same. That is, variance of ui given xi is sigma squared. Let's look at the fifth assumption. What is our fifth assumption? A fifth assumption states that there is no autocorrelation between the disturbances. That is, covariance ui, uj, given xi, xj is zero. Given any two x values, xi and xj, the correlation between any two disturbances, ui and uj, is zero. Basically, Error terms are not correlated with each other. If they are correlated with each other, our linear regression model fails. Now, let's look at the sixth assumption. Our sixth assumption states that there is zero covariance between ui and xi. That is, covariance ui xi is zero. The disturbance u and the explanatory variable x are uncorrelated with each other. Let's look at the seventh assumption. What is our seventh assumption? Our seventh assumption states that the number of observations n must be greater than the number of parameters to be estimated. That is, the number of observations must be greater than the number of explanatory variables. Let's look at the eighth assumption. What is our eighth assumption? Our eighth assumption states that there should be variability in x values. What does this mean? It means that our x values should not be the same. If there is very little variation in x, then we'll be not able to explain the variation in y. Hence, we need high variability in our x values. Let's look at the ninth assumption. What is the ninth assumption? 
the regression model should be correctly specified. There should be no specification bias or error in specifying the regression model. Now let's look at the tenth assumption. What is our tenth assumption? Our tenth assumption says that there is no perfect multicollinearity. What does this mean? Explanatory variables do not have any linear relationship. Suppose you have many explanatory variables and if those explanatory variables have any relationship between them, then our linear regression model fails. A 10 assumption. First, our model should be linear. The second assumption, x value should be fixed in repeated sampling. The third assumption says that zero mean expected value of random disturbance term ui is zero the fourth assumption is of homoscale elasticity that is constant variance of error terms fifth is no autocorrelation that is the correlation between ui and uj is the sixth assumption says that there should be zero covariance that is u and x are uncorrelated the seventh assumption is on observation. The number of observations should be greater than the number of parameters to be estimated. The eighth assumption states that x should be highly variable. The values of x should not all be same. The ninth assumption is of specification. That is the regression model should be correctly specified. And the tenth assumption is of no multicollinearity. That is explanatory variables should not be correlated with each other. I hope all the assumptions are clear for one and all. Thank you.